Hey guys, this is Reethus here, and I recently completed a CCAM Platinum Dealer training class, and I wanted to do a simple filter modification update. Now, for those of you that didn't see my prior video, this is a BioCube 29 gallon tank. This is the back of the tank and where the filtration is located. What I've done to get to this point is remove the tray that's located here the bio balls that were located here in the bottom tray and threw them all away. This way you don't have to buy the reusable filter cartridges that they have. Um, I like using reticulated foam like in the old school uh, nano cubes that they used to manufacture. So these are two eShops uh, sub sponges. As I showed in my first video, these simply just fit into place. You don't have to cut them or anything. They just uh, wedge into place like so. So for the 14 I use one sponge and for the 29 I like to use two sponges. So that's the first one. Here's the second one. I hope you guys can see. Sorry I'm blocking the camera. Get these exactly right. Okay. So what we talked about last time was using this compartment here for either a bag of live rock or for your chemical filtration. Get this stuff out of the way. Um, since I went to my Seachem training, I learned about this product called Matrix. Now, uh, this is a high capacity biofiltration. If you have more than 50 gallons an hour of flow, you want to use the Matrix and not the denitrate. The denitrate product is the same uh, biomedia as this, except the larger size of the matrix uh, enables it to denitrify in water that's moving faster than 50 gallons an hour. So I've got one liter of matrix media in a Pura uh, nylon media bag. It's a resealable bag with a Velcro enclosure. I've already gone ahead and put the media in the bag. Uh, I just want to show you guys the media looks like this. I'd say it's, uh, I mean, nickel to some pieces are quarter size. Uh, so that's the matrix media right there. I've already got it in the bag, like so. And you can drop this in place of where, where the bio balls could possibly go. Now, I like keeping this media in a bag so I can remove it and clean back there. So now, what I like to do, I like to use a combination of uh, matrix carbon, which is a spherical carbon. Uh, round chemical filtration does a much better job than pellets or the chips because the round chemical filtration, whether it's purigen, which is round, or matrix, which is round, the spheres give you much better hydrodynamics, meaning the water can channel through the filter media much more efficiently than if it's compacted pellets or compacted chips. So I'm just going to take the purigen out just for video's sake and remove this sponge here. We've got plenty of reticulated foam here. We don't really need this sponge. We got our matrix bio media, which is a denitrification media. And then if you see, the, uh, the chemical filtration is the exact right size what fits in this slot right here. I need to take it out of the bag to make it fit. There we go. So that just slips into place like so. There you go. Um, and, you know, you could use purigen and or matrix carbon. I like to use both. Um, the next thing I'm going to do on a later video is talk about investment protection. And a lot of you guys will spend, you know, 60 or 80 dollars a fish, but people won't get a UV sterilizer. So this is the BioCube UV sterilizer that fits on this pump tube right here, which I'm going to install later and talk about more later. And I do not leave this plugged in all the time. I leave it unplugged. And if I have a problem with fish or ick, then I'll plug it in temporarily to solve my problems instead of using uh, chemical treatments. But this will be the investment protection video, which I will do next.
So this is Reef Thews for Aquarium Outfitters. Thanks so much for watching the BioCube Simple Filter Modification Update.